What's up? 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 What's up, Sun Seeds? What's up? This is your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sun Seeds, for this message to resonate. Sun Seeds, please make sure you use the discernment, take what resonates, and leave the rest behind. <laughs> what's up, Sun Seeds? What's up? Sun Seeds, just be mindful. This could be past, present, or future. I could be saying he, it could be a she, I could be saying she, it could be he. Okay, if this is not your energy, this could just be someone external close to you, okay? I am just the messenger, okay? I don't control the energy. I don't know what comes out. I'm just as shocked and surprised as you, okay? I'm just a vessel that's being used to give you the message, okay? That's just for the ones who haven't, you know, seem to have a hard time <laughs> with the messages. I don't control them, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels, Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energies for my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door. Anyone that's sending me and my collective sun seeds, any negative energy, I send it back to the center a thousand times fold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what's the most important messages that collective sun seeds need to hear at this time? Please and thank you. Sunsees, you could have been dealing with someone that was non-committal, okay? Um, you could have felt like this person had a family somewhere else. You could have felt like, yeah, this person was being um, very deceptive. There's something about your healing energy. Um, if this was in the past, this person is in a lot of regret. I don't see the six, you know... When I pull from this um, deck right here, yeah. Um, I'm hearing choose wisely. So someone could be in regret. Thank you, spirit. Um, I'm hearing choose wisely. Someone could um, regret not giving you a commitment, okay? This person could see you as someone that, you know, they can have a family with or you could have found out about a family. Okay, but there's something about your energy that this person um, sees. Yeah, healing and with romance. It's something about your energy that this person is very attracted to. This person could be in a lot of regret for, um, you know, being non-committal to you. Um, this person could have also, um, you could have felt like you was in a friend zone with this person. Maybe you felt like things weren't going anywhere. You could have, um, you could have explained to this person that, you know, Things need to change, you know? You could have been also I'm getting the three of wands in my third eye. Something about your energy is very healing. Um, you could have been waiting for something to change. You could have also felt like this person was avoiding you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. You could be questioning a connection that you felt like um, it was just someone was trying to friend zone. You didn't feel like it was going anywhere. Anytime, um, anytime you spoke about committing commitment, um, this person could have froze up or could have ghosted you. Or oh, this is how they could have feel about you, Sussies. Yeah, this person, um, this person could have been trapped in another connection, Sussies. Codependency. Yeah, for somebody, this person could have been trapped in a codependency um, connection somewhere else. So if you was wondering why things wasn't getting off the ground, why this person kept friend zoning you, why this person kept avoiding um, giving you the commitment that you deserve it's because this person was trapped in a, another con a connection. Okay. Someone who was codependent on them or they, or they was codependent on this person. But it was something about me and you with your healing energy. Um, something about you that made this person um, realize they wanted more. But I, I just feel like um, I'm hearing um, somebody met the right person, but it was just the wrong timing. 
I heard earlier, choose wisely. So somebody could be in regret as well for um, choosing someone. Ooh. Wow. I'm hearing somebody want to be saved. Maybe it could be this person, whoever that's trapped, that's so trapped in a codependency connection. Yeah, high vibrational. Yeah, you got energy, healing, high vibrational. You vibrate very high. For a lot of you guys, um, you probably was very unaware of any of this was going on. You know, you probably just removed yourself respectfully. Okay, because intuitively you could have felt like this person was non-committed or this person just kept friends on you. This person was not going to tell you. Um, this person was not going to tell you that they was in a codependent connection somewhere else. Yeah. This person was... The reason why this person was taking things slow, yeah... And um, cause they 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 weren't ready. Somebody have to, somebody have a situation that they need to clean up. So seeds, okay. But yeah, cold and third party. So if you felt like this person was being cold to you, yeah, it's because they had a third party. Um, I feel like the way how this person did it, this person was very immature. This person would never admit to you that they was um in a connection somewhere else. They would never uh, um admit that. <sighs> I feel like this person was going to, you know, this is somebody that wanted to keep you around, wanted to keep your energy around until they got out of this connection. But when it came to uh, admitting to you, like, oh, I got to, you know, I'm trapped and I got another situation going on. I'm not, I don't, yeah, the sun card, something was illuminated to you. I don't think this person had enough, um, <clears throat> enough guts to tell you that. So if you felt like this person, you know, just wasn't giving you the commitment that you deserve and you, they can't friend zone you, this is why. Um, with this healing energy and high vibrational, I feel like you are someone that's, un, you know, unforgettable, okay? This person could fear losing you as well. But this person is somebody has, um, somebody is trapped in a codependency um, connection. I'm hearing this person is a fan of yours, but they will never show it. If this person sees you with someone else, this person will be feel real salty. This is the energy that feels like if they can't have you, no one else could. But this person is not, you know, um, I don't know, this could be past, present, or future. But this person is um, was not willing to give you the commitment that um, you deserve. Because they were trapped in another situation. This person kept trying to friend zone you. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages, please. And thank you. Page of Swords. This person watches you. They spy on you. Hangman under the bottom. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, Hangman, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups. I'm hearing if I can't have you, nobody else will. This person could see you as someone who gets a lot of attention. Also someone who's very enlightened as well. Yeah. I feel like for some of you guys, this could have been with the Ace of Cups. This could have been a new love with the Two of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody feels like they're at crosswords, cross, yeah, crossroads. <laughs> I said crosswords, so maybe this play, this person played crosswords, but I meant to say crossroads. If you if you had a new connection with somebody and you feel like you guys at crossroads, um, you know maybe you guys talked about you know having you know this romantic relationship. Okay, this person thinks very highly of you. This person adores your energy. This person loves being in your energy. This person sees you as high vibrational. Um, but this person is definitely, um, like I said, this could be past, present, or future. I'm not sure yet. But this person is um, feels trapped in a codependent, codependent situation. Uh, maybe they still have ties to a family that, you know, 
that's connected to them. That could be the reason why they friend zoning you. But um, with this crossroads, it's just giving me um, whoever this new love is. Somebody could um, somebody could be intimidated by you, Sunseeds. This person could feel like you get a lot of attention. This person also could see you as someone very spiritual. But overall, we have the uh, we have the page of wands here. I do see you can be expecting some type of good news um, with the surprise card being here, Ten of Cups. Wow, Ten of Cups with the Sun card. Okay. So for some of you guys, um, if you felt like this person was taking, you know, for you know, taking a long time, I was because this person is ending a situation. Okay. This person is ending something that they was um could have had ties to for a while. So the reason why there's a non-committal um connection right now is because this person I'm getting this 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 connection is on a um like a standstill. This person is leaving leaving something else. This person watches you, some seeds. They do. Yeah, King of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. With the Queen of Pentacles. With the World Card. Okay. So this person could have been married to this person. This could be somebody that they share children with. They could have a teenage child with this page of pentacles with the world card. Yeah. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the world card. Something could definitely be over. Okay, this could be um like you know, somebody that they was married with or in a commitment for a long time with who they shared children with. But this is not no little child, this is a teenager. Okay. I feel like whoever this energy is that you're dealing with, you bring out the best in this person. Um, it's something that you don't see. You have something that you don't see, but with the page of swords being here, um, I do feel like um you're going to get the commitment that you want with this person. We see the page of wands, ten of cups with the sun card. Oh, you're going to be, you're going to be happy. Okay. For others of you guys that this is not a new love, you guys are going to be moving on to a new love. Okay. So take it how it resonates. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yes. Temperance. Something about divine timing, four wands with the chariot. You are going to get a romantic relationship, a proposal. Okay? You are going to get this um, relationship. Okay? Yeah, with the chariot. It's going to come in quick. It was something about divine timing. This person has to clear up something that, you know, they, they was in prior to you, Sun Tzu's. Yeah, I can't make it up. Temperance with five of pentacles. It's something I'm telling you. Somebody is leaving somebody out in the cold. Somebody is rejecting somebody walking away. Queen, I'm king of swords. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but this person was definitely married or in a connection. But somebody is definitely walking away and leaving something, you know. Um... Leaving a connection behind to go towards something new. Yeah, I can't make it up. Eight of Cups. Somebody is definitely walking away. I'm hearing somebody just not happy in a connection anymore. Yeah, there's somebody walking away from the um. You going for the Five of Pentacles to the um Eight of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, somebody just somebody's leaving something that's low vibrational and walking into. Ten of Pentacles. They're going towards this healing, um, this healing energy. Look at this high vibrational. Somebody um could have felt trapped in a situation where they wasn't happy with, you know. Um, very low vibrational. Um, it's, uh, it's like so this person could be going through a lot of changes, um, you know, chaos, difficulties. Somebody just wasn't happy until they found, until they walked in and they found you. It's something about you. Look at your energy. Energy, healing, high vibrational. Somebody been in a situation for a while that they weren't happy with and they actually wound up meeting um, someone, you know, who they find very beautiful. Um, 
and that's just not on the outside. It's is a is a is the energy for this person. This person um, was not um, quick to give you a commitment because this person um, was dealing with a codependency situation prior to you. Okay, somebody watches you. Somebody knows exactly what they want. Um, this person, um, just I'm hearing needed a little more more time. Something was about the right timing. This person is um, definitely walking away from a situation that they see as low vibrational, unhealthy for them. Um, somebody is just walking away to somebody who they see as, you know, they can build a life with 10 of Pentacles. Mm. Queen of Swords. That's the truth. Yeah, somebody, yeah. Somebody is going through some type of separation or divorce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Judgment, Six of Swords with the Three of Cups. It's final. It's final. <laughs> Somebody is moving away. Somebody wants to be happy. They want to celebrate. You could have been a third party, Sun Seeds. But somebody found somebody found somebody who they who they see as, you know, they person. Give me a card on the page of swords, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the page of swords was clarified with the seven of pentacles. Yeah. While this person had you waiting, son, see, this person was watching you, watching your every move, see how you was going to move, how you was going to, um, how you was going to deal with the situation. Even though this person, you know, um, for some of you guys, this person what probably wasn't honest and told you everything that they had going on, um, prior to you. For others of you guys, they did, you know, that's why they was... Um, that's why they probably explained to you why, you know, they couldn't give you a commitment right now. You know, um, I think we should wait, you know, and just be friends right now. Um, because this person was trying to, somebody was codependent on them. So I see it's, you know, whoever this person that they share a teenage child with. Okay. This person was codependent on them. For others of you guys who doesn't, this person doesn't have a child with them. Okay. Um, this person was just waiting on um, moving away from whoever this person that was codependent on them. This person could have been contemplating for a long time, but somebody is fine. Like somebody, like I can't miss. I I cannot miss my chance with Mister Sunflower Collective Sun Seeds. No, 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 no. I cannot miss it. Somebody going from the five. Somebody's walking away from the five to go to the ten. Somebody done found a high vibrational person that they see that they want to romantic relationship with we seen earlier the um chariot and the four wands i just feel like this connection was just on a standstill because this person had to clean this up yeah the high frame with the two of swords i feel like this connection was in a standstill um it was being blocked because this person person was in a commitment prior to you okay king of cups to the six of cups i knew it they was with somebody from their past someone who they should child with they could have been with this person for a very long time also for some of you guys this all of this could already done happen in the past you know this could just be confirmation to you This person could have been with this person since their kids were very young. Very, very young. And now these kids are teenagers. Um, maybe this person feels like, you know, you know, I, I can move on. I can be free now, you know. I can take care of my children, you know. I can provide for my children, but this is not a this is not a connection that I have to stay in anymore. I'm not happy in it. I actually found someone that I see, you know, I see I could build a life with. It could have took a lot for this person to leave the situation. But this is somebody that's leaving. I feel like this person is very um 
This is a, this is somebody that's very supportive, emotionally available, kind, caring. Give me a card on the two of swords, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the lovers, king of pentacles. Yeah. I told you, I felt like somebody was at, like, um, crossroads. I mean, yeah, crossroads. Like, they didn't know, you know, they felt stuck because they had a situation going on prior to you. Mm. Yeah, my nose itching. Yeah, they sure did. Somebody was married or either in a commitment for a while. Somebody is making a choice now and they choosing to walk away to something that they just feel like is, you know, it's just better for them. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Give me a call. I want to give me a call on the King of Pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, two of Pentacles. Somebody was juggling. Seven of Wands. You could have felt like this person was guarded towards you. You know? And you didn't understand why. I don't, for what I'm picking up on, this is going to be an energy where this person didn't tell you that they was in a commitment. They didn't tell you that they was married or, you know, dealing with somebody for a while. They didn't tell you that. Well, this energy going to resonate to. Um, I do see a person, and like I said, this person is blocking one of those, um, blocking um, someone out and choosing to make a choice to go towards the one who they see as high vibrational. Somebody found their person. They did. Two of Wands, and they planning something. Yeah, I can't make it up. Two of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Somebody is going towards, they found their person. They did. Give me a card on the Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is clarified with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody is choosing to hold back. Somebody wants to be single and somebody wants to go towards the one who they're interested in. Somebody found a new love. Yeah, and they're keeping it a secret, though. Yeah, I can't make it up. The Moon Call with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's keeping it a secret. Yep, but with the Six of Wands being here and the Judgment and the Six of Swords, ooh, somebody going towards a situation that they feel like is more balanced for them. Um, somebody actually found someone who they see as they equal that they can have, a, you know, build a partnership with. But somebody feel like they got to move, you know, um, they got to move this way because of, you know, whatever they leaving behind from their past. You know, whoever this person, they, they dealing with somebody who's codependent on them. Somebody could know how this person is. Somebody just like, you know, I just, I just want to be single. You know, I don't, I don't want to deal with this energy anymore, but this person knows they know who they going towards, but somebody keeping it a secret. I'm telling you, they keeping it a secret, but they final about it. This person is done. Anything from their past, they done with it. It's over. Give me another card on the six of cups, Holy Spirit. Give me another card on the Six of Cups, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, King of Cups came back out. I'm telling you, this is somebody who they shit children with. Yeah, I told you, Sunsy, the death card. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. It doesn't have to be, but this is the energy that this person is currently carrying. Something is over. Something is changing. I'm telling you, I cannot make it up to you. Lovers with the Ace of Cups. Yes, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody, somebody is choosing to go about their business. Somebody is making a choice, okay? When it comes to new love, somebody is choosing. This person is making a choice, okay? Tell whoever this person that they was with for a while. You know, I, I just want to be single right now. I'm choosing me. Okay? 
just so happened for somebody with this Ace of Cups out here twice, somebody actually wound up finding a new love. You know, they wind up finding somebody that they, you know, they truly like. Knight of Swords. Somebody who's ready to take a risk on this on this connection. Yeah, Queen of Cups with the Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody found their counterpart. Mm -hmm. And they weren't, they weren't actually, I don't think this person seen this coming. Somebody is leaving an unhealthy, you know, karmic cycle. And they actually, hmm, somebody just wasn't happy. And they wasn't expecting to meet this person of, of energy, healing, and high vibration. Like this person in this high vibration. They wasn't expecting to meet them, but they, they actually, while this person was working on themselves and they independency after being in a connection with someone for so long, could be, like I said, since they was very young, or oh, just for a lot of years, or married to they actually wind up meeting someone that, you know, they actually really, really like. That they willing to take a risk on. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the Justice. Nice. Nice. I'm talking about somebody that they can build, you know, a legacy with. Ten of Pentacles, you know, family, the kids. Oh, man. I mean, everything that you could possibly ask for. Somebody can see themselves growing old and gray with you. Building generational wealth, a solid foundation with this high vibrational energy. We have Libra energy here. Yeah, somebody, somebody found somebody who who they I mean, when they find you, they find you very beautiful, very attractive. They love everything about you. I'm just hearing that the connection was just you know it's just on a standstill because. Something is changing in this person's life. It is. Yeah, somebody is surrendering. Mm hmm And walking away. This person knows exactly what they want. This person watches you, so I see. I don't know how, but they do. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is very passionate about you. Who's coming and bringing this offer? The chariot is coming in quick with the cancer energy. And we have the judgment. This person is final. Somebody knows exactly what they want. Eight of wands. Something is coming in quick for you. Ten of cups. I see you being very happy with the three of cups. I see you celebrating six of wands. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing this be a success. Ace of wands. Passion new beginning. I love it. I love it for you. Um, let me get. Holy Spirit, give me some messages. Let me close this out. Angel messages, please. And thank you. Yeah, romantic feelings. Yeah, feelings are real and worth exploring. Somebody, um, somebody actually, like I said, wound up meeting someone that they didn't, you know, they wasn't expecting to meet this um this person that they was gonna have romantic feelings for. They could have just been, you know, looking for a friend. Okay. Um, but they actually wind up finding somebody that they see themselves living, you know, well, living with. So I heard living with for a long time, or but I was gonna say being with for a long time. Um, and I feel like this person could have been put in on hold because, you know, this is somebody that um like I said, for the ones who still can bear kids, it's the one who shared kids with this person. Some of you guys can be very young, but others of you guys is a teenager. They are teenagers, okay? Um, this is somebody that's been supportive, you know, um, to whoever they've been the kid with, the, you know, the, the child mother, the child father, take out resonate. So these kids were very young, and maybe this person felt like if they chose them, they would be selfish. But somebody like, you know what? I can't, I can't fight the way how I'm feeling about this new love. You got Ace of Cups out here tight twice. I can't fight it, and I deserve to be happy. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring, and somebody realized that. Somebody realized I can still, you know, provide for my children without being with this person. Somebody wanted this person. You got trapped in codependency. Somebody wanted this person to be trapped in in a situation because they were codependent on your person's energy. 
But you got the nine of pentacles out here twice too. Somebody wants to be single, independent on their own. But while they were on their own, they wound up meeting someone that they see as, um, this person sees you as a healer. High vibrational. This person goes to see you as someone very spiritual. Under the bottom, we have this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. For some of you guys, you could have known this person from your past. Okay, with the Six of Cups being here. And maybe things didn't take off. Maybe this person was non-committal in the past. And you guys were just friends and things didn't happen. Because this person had another situation. Okay, that they was in. For a lot of you guys, you are um, you could be meeting up with this person again in this lifetime. And now this person is single. And now you guys can have this connection. Okay? Ooh, child. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. So it's going to be different for all you guys. So take a part res that resonates. Anything else, Holy Spirit? This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you see. Somebody already knows. They know for a fact who they want. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay, we have let your friends help you. And children. Yeah, this person, heart to heart conversation. Um, this person could be, um, again, I told you, children is definitely much involved. This person could be um, seeking out advice from someone who they respect. Um, you know, ask them how to go about this situation. Whoever they ask them for advice from, this, they telling this person, you can still be, you know, a great father or a great mother, you know, to your children. You could still be a great parent to your children and still have this love for your life. But when it says children, let me read the cards. It said children. Your love life is being affected by children. Whoever somebody has children with, okay, is very codependent on this person's energy. Okay? And this person could have felt like for a while that they couldn't actually be happy or be free because of whoever this person that was codependent on them. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like whoever your person is, they're going to discuss to you, you know, what's the situation between them, um, the, the children, um, or why they felt trapped in a situation with whoever this person that was codependent, very needy of them. Yeah, again, it came back out. I'm telling you, codependent. Somebody was very codependent. Codependency out here twice. Needy, clingy, feel like they can't do nothing. They can't, they can't even, they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing for the children. They can't do nothing for themselves. Nothing without this person being with them. And it's not fair. Because somebody is not happy. Somebody literally leaving a five of pinnacles situation to go towards a ten of, ten of pinnacles. I mean, that's like everything that you, you know, that's what you want to build on person has gone through a lot of changes in their life but it's for the better it's for the it's all for the better it's all for the better i can't make it up crack the deck on new love i love you guys so very much sun seeds oh this gave you guys clarity on your situation you know um some understanding for whoever this reading is going to resonate for. Okay? I'm sending you guys a big ball of love and light. I love you guys so very much, Sunseeds. And so we get up next time. Namaste.